Make some noise, Mr. T's. People are double taking me up here like, is Stevie Oki here doing comedy? Is he even a DJ? Girls are like, oh, turn around, he's not DJ, it's not him, go home. Uh, I've been Korean all day. Let's go. <laughs> you guys ever dated a Korean chick? I'm not talking about a Korean American. I'm talking about like a real Korean Korean, right? A real sweatshop chick. <laughs> they will make fake Gucci and sell it, and then go buy the real Gucci with the money they made. They're very resourceful. <laughs> Asians are very good at copying shit. I don't know if you noticed. Manufacturing cars. If you don't believe me, go Google Bobby Lee and then look at me on stage. <laughs> look at a thousand of us in a warehouse like I were now. Woo! I've uh, been looking for a job recently. I don't need a job, I'm just looking for one, because it's fun. <laughs> when you need a job and you're, and you're interviewing, it's not fun, you're lying, desperately. I remember the questions they asked. Um, one question was like, tell me a time where you were challenged at your last job and how you overcame it. I'm like, I got fired, that's why I'm here. I'm trying to overcome it. <laughs> Bitch, I work at Food Mask. You're talking about like a Saudi Olympian or something. Like that. <laughs> and then she asked me, well, like, how passionate are you about material handling, Brian? I'm like, Lord knows I'm not. Like, that would make me a loser. Like, you want me to be passionate about material handling? Like, imagine you're on a date and you know, your girl's like, Brian, I love driven men. What are you passionate about? I'm like customer service. <laughs> Front desk at a hotel. Is that doing it for you? I feel like it's getting drier in here. I don't know if that's your pussy or the weather. Um, <laughs> I got the job. I don't know why. I noticed there's like positive Asian racism out there, right? If you see like the Asian hate, I see the other side. Tell me why. Why do they assume I was going to be on time? <laughs> I wasn't on time. <laughs> Why this? I know you're thinking, like, no, you're supposed to be on time, right? I get that. But they had this look of disappointment. I've seen this look in high school, right? Tell me why. In math class, why are they copying my paper? <laughs> I never said I was smart. Now, I didn't mention it to no one, right? And they give me that look when their paper gets graded. I'm like, dude, I was copying Jose in front of me, bro. Tell <laughs> I brought Jose here, thank you, man. Shout out Jose, man. <laughs> if you thought I brought Jose out for this joke, Lord, no. I found this guy on Craigslist. <laughs> Don't be mad. Uh, off road did not have any Mexicans, okay? So I'm gonna try. I can't make my own money. Jose, okay, so yeah. Um, so I got the job. I told my guy about this, you're gonna forget jokes, man. Um, I'm just going with my jokes. Has anyone, has anyone ever been to a strip club? Yeah! Woo! You guys are army passers, man. I'm oh. sorry. Have you ever noticed why it's so oily in a strip club? Uh, uh, no, it's not. There's oil everywhere. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'll take that. I'm Asian. I got that credit. <laughs> it's very oily. Ocean should shut this shit down and just slip on some coconut oil, some sperm. And I'll be out. I went there, right? And this girl, she comes up to me, right? I'll never forget this because it made me leave. <laughs> and she comes up to me, she goes, Hey, you daddy, how can I help you? I was like, What the fuck did you just call me? <laughs> you ever call me your daddy, bro? No, you wouldn't. I'm like, I just want the regular daddy special. I don't want the Asian daddy special. Is this real call? <laughs> sir, what are you, sir? You don't want me asking? What's your race? Black Mexican. Have you ever been called Black Mexican Daddy? <laughs> no? He <laughs> just wanted me called Daddy. <laughs> this is a very moment for me. Like, call me Daddy. I was picturing my dad in a collar shirt with a belly, with khaki shorts, socks, and sandals. <laughs> not, not very sexy. <laughs> That reminded me of the second most American moment that I ever had in my life was when I was dating this Puerto Rican chick and she called me Papi. 
I jumped up in the air. <laughs> yes. You don't know what that means, y'all. Y'all never seen white men can't jump up front after next, man. We want to be called Poppy. <laughs> I wish people in Korea were seeing this. Anyway, that's my time. Thank you.